You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning? Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Where did you get to? between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Not that right. I do. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. Przepraszam. Kim jesteś? I am here on behalf of Leopold Strauss. Where's our money? Ah, ah, Leopold Strauss. Ben nie mam pieniędzy. God damn it, you don't speak English, do you? Now, you remember where you 
keeping that silver. Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Nie. Nie, nie. No, 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 no. Please, no. No have money, but but I have this. It's it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay. Rusakom nie można ufać. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. The longer I look, the madder I get. What do we have here? My old bronzka, nie. Just keep quiet. Better be something somewhere. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I need, I must eat, proszę. Okay, that should have... Yep. Small holder, Robo. Didn't even speak English. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. <laughs> I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. <laughs> You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm 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 do I'm do. This is not forgiveness of my debt. This is just a stay. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please. <laughs> Dad's caught you, mister, and it ain't letting go. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is Downs. Yep. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father. I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Holmes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a... All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. Are you resting? What were you saying again? You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, me. up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee you pay me. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're on to it now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be, or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? The big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. 
Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. Your man ain't coming. this when Hughes start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss I, I don't I, I, I need more time doesn't everybody that casket for you but you want another wait 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 I, I, I can get it for you but uh well uh come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing Church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. 
There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this. Uh... I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Hmm, well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick the... You're gonna get it! Go on! Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it. <laughs> 